The coronavirus is making headlines worldwide with confirmed cases in China, Australia, Canada, France, Japan, Malaysia, Nepal, Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, the United States and Vietnam. As of this recording, 82 people have died and over 2700 have been confirmed affected in Wuhan, China alone. There are confirmed 50 cases in previously mentioned countries, with at least 5 in the United States and 2 in Canada. As it appears that this virus is now going worldwide, we'll be exploring the question, what if you caught the coronavirus? How's it going guys? Welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'll be your host Jared Bronstein and today we'll be talking about the coronavirus, the symptoms and what to do if you think you may be infected. As always make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to never miss a video and stick around until the end of this one for some comment replies. But for now we need to get right into this one and hopefully put some of your minds at ease regarding this incurable virus. Although it can be deadly, it's not as scary as a lot of you may fear it is, so let's explore. To start let's talk about what the coronavirus is. According to the World Health Organization website, I quote, Coronaviruses CLV, are a large family of viruses that cause illness ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome MERS COV, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome SARS COV. A novel coronavirus NCOV is a new strain that has not been previously identified in humans. End quote. So in simple terms, coronavirus is a very broad term for a handful of illness. It'd be similar to saying that cancer is taking over the country. What type of cancer? Lung, brain, stomach? Similarly, this specific the specific coronavirus does not have a name yet. Other types of coronaviruses include SARS and MERS, but due to the fact that this specific virus does not have an official name yet, we're simply referring to it as just coronavirus. The reason this coronavirus has proven to be deadly is because it can cause pneumonia, as well as affect your respiratory system, which controls your breathing. Those who already have weakened immune systems are more likely to contract the virus, more specifically children or elderly, as well as those who are already sick. Although there are cases worldwide, it seems each country is doing what they can to contain the virus appropriately. Unfortunately, those infected may not show symptoms immediately, which makes the virus much harder to track. That being said, symptoms appear to be very similar to that of a common cold or flu, both of which could be considered coronavirus. More specifically, symptoms include cough, fever, breathing difficulties, sore throat, and headache. Unfortunately, as of now, there is no official cure for the virus. Like pneumonia or other viruses, antibiotics aren't of much use. Instead, you need to rely on your body to fight off the infection. With that being said, with proper medical treatment, you can reduce or fight the symptoms and help your body in the fight against this virus. So what would happen if you caught the coronavirus? Well, first things first, it would depend on severity. If it's confirmed that you are infected but you don't have a bad case, you may very well just stay in bed, drink lots of fluids to keep hydrated, and your body would fight it off naturally as it would any common cold or flu. In more severe cases, you'd be admitted into the hospital and quarantined so that you don't spread the illness among others. As was the case with the first confirmed case in the United States, which was a 30 year old man from Washington state, you would be kept under a watchful eye, constantly being tested to see if the virus is still contagious. Once it was determined that you are no longer contagious, you would most likely be able to go about your life as you normally would. But one thing is certain, if you're not feeling well, you should stay clear of anyone and monitor your symptoms. Just because you have a common cold doesn't necessarily mean you have coronavirus, but there's no way to be sure unless you go to the CDC or a hospital to get tested. If you are feeling ill and the symptoms seem to get worse, I'd highly recommend seeing your doctor and possibly going to the hospital depending on how ill you feel. The last thing you'd want to do is ignore your symptoms or downplay them out of fear that you will be quarantined if you do have the virus. The silver lining here is that that even though the virus can lead to death, odds are it wouldn't get to that point. Unless you're already incredibly ill, an infant or elderly, and your body is susceptible to falling ill, 9 times out of 10 you'll come out the winner of this battle. The same way your body finds a way to fight off a common cold or flu, the same goes for this coronavirus, which has yet to be officially named. But as previously mentioned, if you aren't feeling well, monitor your symptoms and if you feel you're not getting any better, go to your doctor immediately. If you do have the coronavirus, you'll most likely be hospitalized, dependent on severity, and will be provided the resources to help alleviate some of the symptoms you may have. Whether that means you're simply hooked up to IV to help retain fluids, or are in need of a machine to help your respiratory system, it seems the majority of the countries affected are well equipped to handle the outbreak. As of now, it's believed all five confirmed cases in the United States are in stable condition, and the same goes for the two cases recently found in Canada. Now as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one guys, do you think the coronavirus is going to to continue to spread and get worse, or have we already seen the worst of it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video. Should we be worried about the coronavirus? Hi, Bai said, Yeah, I'm scared of it because it is spreading so fast. Well, as I previously said, hopefully this video put your mind to ease. Although it is spreading quickly, it's no different than a flu or a common cold to the point that. It most likely won't kill a ton of people unless they're already incredibly ill and their body is already shutting down on them. So, 
Not much to worry about. I think if you catch it, you'll be okay. Night TV said, damn. Plague in 1720, 1820, 1920, 2020, looks like things aren't good for us humans. I don't know, I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't like look into the other plagues, but I hope that's not the case, because if we get a new plague every hundred years that wipes out the human race, well obviously it doesn't wipe out the human race because we're still here, but you get what I'm saying. I don't know guys, the thing is like any other virus or disease that's come out, like it's, truthfully, some people are gonna unfortunately die, and then we'll just forget about it, and then the next thing's gonna happen, and we're gonna think that's gonna end the human race, and then it won't, so, just like, Take it easy, guys. If you're not feeling well, go to the doctor. You'll be okay. Don't worry about it. Anyways, guys, gonna wrap this video up. I've been your host, Jared Bronson. You guys have been watching Life's Biggest Questions, and we'll see you in the next one.